Hello again. So, we have a new type of problem where we have a right regular hexagonal prism with side lengths on the base that equal 4 and a height of 8. So, it first wants us to find the lateral surface area of our prism. Well, if it's regular, then that means every side of the base must be the same. So, all those dimensions on the top are the same. And the height of the object is 8, and the side lengths are 4, so that means that each rectangle on the side has an area equivalent to 4 times 8. That's each rectangle on the side. Now, because it's a hexagon, that means in total there are 6 rectangles. So, our total calculation is going to be 4 times 8, which is the area of an individual rectangle. Multiply that by 6, which is the total number of rectangles. So, we can do this as... Um, well, 4 times 8 is 32, so 6 times 32 and that would become 6 times 3 is 18 so that's 180 plus 6 times 2 which is 12 so in total 192 and that would be our lateral area now we can find our surface area so surface area is equivalent to well we found the lateral area it's the lateral area plus the areas of the two bases so 192 plus the area of my two bases now what would that be well my base is a hexagon or a six-sided polygon so that looks something like this And it's not going to be a perfect drawing, but it's going to look good enough. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each length is four. Now, if we draw the diagonals out, like this, we will get a couple triangles that are all equilateral. Therefore, they all have a length of 4. We have proven this in the past, but just so we're aware of the logic of it. Now I can find the area of these triangles. Well, if we're not quite sure what that is, the area of an equilateral triangle is the side length, 4. And you square that, multiply that with the square root of 3 over four and that would just become well four squared over four is just four four times square root of three so that is the area of one of the triangles now we need the area of the hexagon well the hexagon since there are six triangles it's going to be six times four times the square root of three However, there are also two hexagons, so we have to multiply that by 2. So that equals 192 plus, well, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48, and we're just going to keep that square root of 3 and this would be our surface area. Alright, now it would like us to find the volume. The volume, as we have previously defined it, 
is the area of the base times the height of our object. So the area of our base is 6 times 4 square root of 3. Again, this just comes from that the area of the equilateral triangle is 4 times square root of 3 and that there are 6 triangles in the hexagon. And we're going to multiply that with the height of the prism, which is 8. So, we have um, 6 times 4, 24, times 8. Well, 8 times 4 is 32. 2 times 8, 16, plus 3, 19, 192. So we get 192 times the square root of 3. That is our volume. Okay. So that is parts A through C.